Like I'm obviously doing something wrong because this, this is gonna change my watering game. It took a little bit of finagling, but that worked super well. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we're going to be doing some TikTok plant hacks. I don't know about any of you, but uh, lately I have been, not lately, for the past like year, I've been absolutely obsessed with TikTok. It is probably where I spend most of my phone time. It's great, I love it, but also probably bad for me. Anyways, the algorithm knows me very well at this point and it knows that I love houseplants. And so I regularly see like houseplant hacks on TikTok and I thought why not give some of them a go test them out to see if they are really hacks or if it's just a load of baloney. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've got some stuff here that I've got to try out these hacks. I'll be sure to link all of it down below in the description box. If you fancy trying these out for yourself, go for it, but I tried them so you don't have to. So I figured let's start out easy. I regularly see this one hack like all over the place. I've seen it on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, everywhere. But I figured I'd give it a go. It's to make a plant hanger out of like macrame cord and a pot. That's like all you need. And it's like really simple. You just need a tiny bit of cord. So let's give it a go. So the video had no information on it, which is super helpful. So I have no idea how much string I need. Two times my arm span just in case. I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, so I've got two times my arm span. And then it looks like the cord is just a circle. So I, I think they must have tied it together somehow. So I'll tie mine together just in an easy knot. And then I've still got quite a big circle. But like, there's literally no words to say what they're doing. It's just like, flip it, flip it, flip it, there you go. You're done, you've done the whole thing. And it just goes so fast. I need this, it's too speedy for me. So I've changed the camera angle a bit so hopefully you can see better what I'm doing. But I've got my loop-de-doop on the counter here. And I just flip that, put the pot on that, put this through the hole, through the hole, through the top of the hole, through the top of the hole. This feels incorrect, man. Over the top, under the bottom, pull through most of the way. And then I've got these side things. What do I do with those side things? Flip this over and then pull the sides through here. Oh my goodness, have I done it? This looks wrong, but. Let's try again. I don't get what I'm, like I'm obviously doing something wrong because, because it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not working. I, just, I don't get it. Well, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Got a mason jar. They're using a mason jar in the video. Maybe that'll be the right thing for me to do. Okay. How do they make it look so easy? Mine doesn't. Oh my goodness, did I do it? <gasps> I did it, I think, I did it, I did it, I did it. I do not trust this. I do not trust this in the slightest. It is moving around all over the place. Like if I pull on it in a way, in a way it'll just come out. I mean, I suppose the answer is then don't pull on it, but what if there's weight on it because I'm watering plants? It's a bust. I don't say this works. I say this is a fail. TikTok fail. I don't like it. It didn't work. Well, off to a great start. So this next hack is all about how to give moss poles a better support when in LECA. Because LECA is so light, I feel like moss poles and like any sort of support system can be a bit difficult because it doesn't stay up 
very well because it's it's very light it'll tip over easily so the hack says to get steel gathering poles I'm from your local nursery um, my nursery didn't have any so I got them on Amazon also I couldn't find ones with heads as big as the ones in the video so I found the best I could it's smaller but I think it'll I think it'll suffice let's give it a go I have my philodendron silver sword here it's been in like it for a while now and I figure it's probably like let, let's it could use a steak it's a bit it's a bit manky but it could it could be staked so let's give it a go so actually I think this might be the perfect size of round thing because it fits like perfectly in the bottom of the pot so I'm just going to put a layer of Lekka down, one layer, and then the pole. So I'm actually using a self-watering moss pole upside down. And then put the plant in and then the rest of the Lekka. You know, that actually feels pretty sturdy. Like I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Now I'm just gonna take my little tie and wrap it around. Oh my God. I think that looks really good. I mean, it's a bit wonky, but what a good hack. So this next hack is actually the one that prompted me to make this video. I saw this hack and I was like, I need to try that. It will cut my watering time down so freaking much. Basically, it was this person who got an expandable hose and attached it to their sink and then used that inside to water all their plants. I want to do that. I want to water all my plants from inside. Like, instead of having to like refill my watering can a billion times because I'm watering all my plants, I could do it with a hose. So I got a hose. So here's the hose. Like you can see it kind of, it's a bit stretchy and it comes with a spray nozzle. This is originally meant to fit like an outside tap. Obviously I don't have an outside tap. I live in a flat. So we're gonna try attaching it to my sink. <laughs> this sounds like a really bad idea. So at my sink, this here is the nozzle that came with the hose. As you can see, it's quite big and my tap is freaking tiny. So I had to get an adapter. I will say this is the second adapter I got. The first one wasn't big enough or was it too big? Either way, it was the wrong size. So I had to get another one. But I'm just unscrewing the little like tap bit of the sink and just shoving this thing on, tightening it as tight as it can go. I am really worried that I'm going to turn the sink on, it's just going to spray everywhere. So, then this goes like that. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my goodness, let's see if I can use this to water my plants. Got my hose. The sink is on, I've left it on. Let's see if this works. I need to be very careful doing this because it's much more powerful. Oh my God. This, this is gonna change my watering game. Oh my goodness, let's, let's water all of my plants. Uh, okay, so I will say this hose does drip quite a bit. Works best with the big plants. Or I can just like, yeah, spray it. Ooh, that's better. Okay, so I put it on the full setting and then I can kind of like, it goes out in a single stream. I can kind of control the intensity of it a bit better. Overall, I quite like this as a thing. I think it works pretty well. It, it does the job. 
but it is a bit messy so if you're doing it like this just be careful because it does spray water everywhere I mean it's his job but like it's not like when you're in a garden and you can just get water everywhere I'm in my house and I've got carpet so I don't really want like soaked wet carpets so it is it works kind of mostly it's fine I probably will use it again because I do think it's really useful but also you couldn't fertilize with it unless you had like slow release fertilizer in your soil already um, but I don't use slow release I use liquid so it wouldn't work very well for that so it's okay it, it, it's okay it does the job so I also really want to quickly give a side note if you do plan on watering your plants with a hose it's definitely worth going around in like 20 minutes half an hour and double checking that there's not water sitting at the bottom of the pots like the cash pots so I did go around after filming and have a look at my plants and all of the ones that I used the like sprayer on definitely had water at the bottom so I don't know if it's the most effective way of watering my plants but if you had like a few big plants that are pain to water and like take up a lot of water I think it makes a lot of sense so like on my monstera and my bird of paradise it made total sense but if you have a lot of smaller things it's probably not the best though I will say I filled up my humidifier using it and it was freaking so easy because I could just spray so there were benefits but just be careful and pay attention is really all it is so on the same note I actually saw a different TikTok telling you to use an expandable hose in your house on your house plants but they said you can fill it up outside, like fill the hose up all the way, and then detach it from the tap and carry it with you around the house. So it's like having one giant watering can with a spray nozzle. So I'm gonna try that to try and water my downstairs plants. Let's, let's give this a go. Um, I might spill water everywhere, who knows? I don't know if you can see this, but I am sopping wet. Um, so I went to take the hose off of the thing wandered around myself oh my freaking god it sprayed everywhere I had the tap off and everything and I think just like the hose is only expanding when there's like pressure in the hose and so when the pressure came out of the hose it just blew everywhere I, I wish I was filming it because it was probably really funny but I'm sopping wet <sighs> that wasn't fun let's see if it holds any water No, it, it doesn't. There's no, there's no water in that. There's nothing coming out. It, it's empty. It's empty and I'm wet. So this version didn't work. Don't, don't do that version because it's just not gonna happen. That was a dramatic reenactment of me spilling water everywhere. Though it was more dramatic the first time, I promise you. I got water everywhere, everywhere. So the next TikTok hack is another Lekka hack. So it is a hack on how to get rooted cuttings into like your water and Lekka. So I've got some Lekka here. I've got a jar, my rooted cuttings, and then it suggested these net pots which people use for Lekka, so I got some net pots. But the first thing we gotta do is fill up this jar with water. So I filled it up most of the way, not all the way full, otherwise you're gonna spill water everywhere and you should probably do this over your sink, but you know, I haven't. So then you want to fill up your Lekka vessel like completely, all the way. Okay, so I've filled my net pot up to the top and I'm just gonna stick it in the water so I think this like lets the Lekka float so it floats a bit and you can kind of put the rooted cutting into it a bit easier I don't know this doesn't seem any easier oh so I got the stem in and now get the roots in 
Oh my god, that is easier. Okay, so I think the trick is to not fill the pot up all the way with Lekka. So there's room and you can kind of like push it down. But then you pull this up. And you've got your pot with your Lekka in it. How freaking cute. Look, it's in there. And then you would use this the same way you use Lekka and like put it in a vessel where the water goes up like about a third of the way. So, oh my goodness. Took a little bit of finagling but that works super well. I don't know if it would work for big plants with like lots and lots of roots, but it works super well for that. Go TikTok, giving us the good stuff. So the final TikTok hack that I'm testing has been in the making for maybe a couple of weeks now because I didn't want to just do the beginning bit and then leave it hanging. I wanted to see if it actually worked out. So, I've been seeing this all over TikTok, quite a few people, but this is the video I saw first. So basically, this woman took the aerial roots of her Monstera Deliciosa and tucked them into her Marmo moss ball jar. Um, I don't have a Marmo moss ball jar. So, I've seen other people do it with just a normal jar of water. And so they're putting a jar of water next to their Monstera plant, putting as many aerial roots in the water as possible. And then the plant just like magically sprouts loads of freaking leaves. And I was like, I want my plant to magically sprout loads of freaking leaves. Give me. So I got a jar of water and put as many aerial roots as I could into it and waited. The woman in the original video said in five days she got six new leaves out of putting the roots into the jar of water. Let's see what I've had in my two weeks. So here, is my Monstera Deliciosa. And in here, we have my jar of water. You can see that there are loads and loads of roots in there. All of these aerial roots are going into it and then becoming water roots, which is awesome. But I have gotten zero new growth from it. Like, the only new growth on the whole plant is this leaf here and that stem isn't even in the freaking jar. So, I, I I don't know. I even tried putting a bit of Super Thrive in that jar as well to see if it would like help boost the plant into producing more leaves. And it's done absolutely nothing other than create water roots. So maybe once the water roots are feeling good, it'll produce more leaves. But I am really unsure about this as a hack to get more monstera leaves. So like I totally understand the premise of putting the aerial roots in water because like that's how monsters grow in nature. They're by water so they just like dip their roots in the water and then they grow. But six leaves in five days because you put your roots in water sounds a bit fake to me. That not calling you out like you do you and if you think it really was because of that good. But to me, it feels like she was probably gonna get some new leaves pretty soon anyways, and it happened to coincide with her putting the roots in moss. So I, I don't know. I'm not particularly impressed with that as a hack. I'm gonna leave it because they're obviously happy in there, but I don't know if I'll keep it forever or if I'll just cut them off or something. But yeah, I don't know. I'd say that hack was a fail. So yeah, that is it. That is me testing out TikTok plant hacks so you don't have to. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you want me to make more TikTok plant hack videos, send me TikTok plant hacks that you see that you want me to test out, or just let me know in the comments if you want me to try more, because I thought that was pretty fun. It's always good to try new things, right? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!